disclaimer before this video starts please like subscribe all that because a lot of y'all watch my videos a lot of y'all like my videos but y'all not subscribed to me so it's like none of that really matters if you're not subscribed to me and if you really like my videos uh i mean why not subscribe for better videos so i just had to say that before the video started I want to say I hate Indianapolis, Indiana, bro. I hate my city. I hate the state. I hate everything about it. No, I'm not dissing the state or anything like that, man. I grew up here, born and raised here, lived in multiple places. I mean, I lived in Indianapolis my whole entire life, but like lived in multiple houses and all that. But I just completely hate it here. You know what? Honestly, I think everybody should get out their hometown. Like there's some people that want to move to Indiana but it's because they weren't born in Indiana. When you're born and raised in Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, and it's like, you don't even want to be here no more. Me, I really don't want to be here no more. I'm so ready to move. I encourage everybody to, uh, I honestly encourage everybody to move out their home state, to be honest, unless you live in like California, Texas, Florida. I mean, you can't really complain because you live in a state that everybody else wants to live in. But me, all my Folks that like grew up in Indiana, I want to get out of here so bad. And I'm, I'm mainly like talking about the people that's more like me, like black kids. Um, I mean, black kids really. Uh, Cause there's people, there's these kids that live in Carmel, live in Fishers, live in Geis. So I think Geis is in Fisher, I don't know. But they live in these nice houses and all that, big, huge houses. So they probably love it, but they don't live in Indianapolis, Indiana, bro. It's so, like, murderous, bro. Like, it's so much crime that goes on. Like, you can't go a day without seeing somebody shot and killed on your phone or somebody in critical condition. And sometimes, honestly, sometimes, honestly, I want to delete, um, I want to delete the Fox 59 app that I have on my phone because I see so many different notifications about people getting killed somebody getting robbed you know if you got the citizens app you get every little notification so it's like somebody got a gun down the street a car got jacked down the street and all of this is happening around us you know i ain't saying i was posted on the block and all that when i was a kid but i grew up in some dangerous areas you feel me and i'm not claiming no gang i ain't claiming no hood or nothing like that but the main streets i grew up on was like 10th street uh, 21st Street and then 38th Street and 10th Street and 38th Street it can get even 21st Street I grew up 21st and Franklin 21st and Post like bro the stuff that happens around there like a couple days before no the same day that I got my diploma walked across the stage somebody got killed at the CVS not even five minutes away from my house and it's like we don't live in a bad house we don't live in a bad neighborhood but it's like just the area that we live in. It's all around us. You feel me? You can't really pinpoint one hot spot in the city no more because it can go down anywhere. You feel me? People get killed every day anywhere. But I'm saying, though, like in Indianapolis, it's all close to us. It's all five to ten minutes within us. Like we could have been at that spot when that person got killed. You feel me? Like that, that's sick. Them six murders that happened, that happened in the next street over from me. And I'm like, dang, that's like it. I can't even put it in reality because, I mean, six people got killed on the next street over from me. I think everybody should move out their own city because you meet different people. You see different things. You experience different weather. Indiana, Indianapolis, the weather is so, I don't care what anybody says, seasonal depression is a real thing. And I mentioned this in my last video, but seasonal depression can really hit you because, I mean, everything is grayed out. Everything is dirty. Everything is snowy. Uh, and then we got COVID going on too. So Florida, but I'm saying like you go somewhere like Florida, the weather high and all that. Me, I was in Colorado for like four or five months and it was a great experience. Not the Air Force Academy, but I got to meet people from all types of places. I got to meet people from Cal, my roommate from Cali, Wale, he from Cali, that's my homie. Ian, he from Cali, Aiden, 
uh, Aiden, I don't forget where Aiden was from, but we had boys from Montana, we had boys from Kansas. Some of them was weird, but it's like, dang, I get to meet people outside of my state. I get to meet people with all these different type of personalities. So I encourage every young person, like when you, when you get older, when you get financially stable, get out your state. A lot of people don't want to leave their state because it's like, uh, my family. I don't want to leave my family. I don't want to leave my parents. I don't leave. I don't want to leave my friends. But honestly. It's the best thing to do, and they will still be fine. Or bring them with you. You feel me? Tell them come with you. Life is a journey, bro. Think there's so many different countries in the world, and we live in one state. Think about that. There's some people that go living in one state their whole entire life. The world is freaking huge, and imagine live, staying in one spot for your whole entire life. That's just so crazy to me. I want to I want to move out of my city so bad, bro. The energy can be so bad, feel me? And then the thing about being a content creator, the thing about being a musician, the thing about being an entertainer is when you first start out, you get the most envy. I think envy is a bad word. I don't really I've never used envy like that. I think you get the like you get the most envy, you get the most hate, you get the most fakeness in your own city. You feel me? So it's best to, I think, get out your own city because when you get out your own city and go somewhere and people see that you content creating, you do music, you entertaining, you feel me? They hop on a bandwagon. It's like, oh, he's from this state, blah, blah, blah. But when you're in the same city and people see you making a way, they, they start hating like, dang, why can't I be like that? We grew up in the same place. I think that's why a lot of hate stems from your own city because people will see it as we grew up in the same place, went to the same school. We had we both had the same opportunities, but he made it out and I didn't make it out or he's making something good of it. And I didn't make something good of it. Why couldn't that be me? And that's where the hate stems up, because it was like y'all was so y'all was so close. Throughout y'all, you don't even know these people, but it's like y'all was in touch. Y'all had the same situations. Y'all had the same predicaments your whole entire life. But you made it you made the best of it and then they just you feel me they just went with the motions so and that's where the hate stems from and i me honestly i hate that bro i cannot wait to move out of indiana i tell everybody in in about two years two years or less i want to live in texas i want to live in austin texas but honestly I, i'm thinking about cali or florida because i want to be a youtuber and it's best if i move somewhere where there's a lot of other people i can collab with and then the thing about being a youtuber in indiana is Indiana don't really got that many YouTubers, and if they there are some YouTubers, then they super inconsistent. You feel me? They go, they post one month, they go six months without posting, then post again. They, they it's like they really ain't trying to grind. I only know one. There's only one person as of right now that I know who's consistent. Two people. There's only two people I know right now that's consistently doing YouTube and like grinding, like posting at least once a week. You feel me? And doing it the right way. They ain't trying to ask for handouts or nothing like that. Like y'all see the weather right now, bro. Y'all see what it y'all see what it's like right now. I could I wanted to go out the the steps to this building, but I couldn't even go out the steps because of how snowy it is. Ain't nothing wrong with the snow, but once again it just plays into the weather part. Like it can be so depressing down here. And I'm not a depressed person. I love being happy. I like the brightness and all that. I don't even like staying in the house to be honest. Well the only reason I stay in the house as much as I no, I'm saying if I have my like own crib, if I live downtown and I can see like the brightness coming in through the windows and all that, I wouldn't leave the house because like I love bright light. Like I'm a bright person, so I like bright things. I don't like to just stay dungeoned in in the house and all that because right now I don't have that much natural light in where I sleep. In. But still, I'm saying like I love natural light. That's why I always tell people I want to live in a high rise apartment, a high rise condo like downtown in a tall building where you got to get on the elevator to go to your apartment or condo because it's you wake up and it's like you got windows and you see the whole downtown you see the whole city you got the sun beaming in or even if the sun not out it's still bright outside like right now it's still bright outside the sun is not out well the sun is out because i can see it and it's covered up by the clouds it's right there but it's still bright outside Snow makes everything bright, but it's not the type of brightness that I want. I want to get out of this city so bad. Yeah, I encourage every young person to get out their city, you feel me, explore, try new things, 
experience experiment different things experience is it, it's kind of what makes a person too like what you have experienced in life that also builds who you are as a person once you go out and experience different states different cities and all that it opens your eyes so much it yeah, open your eyes up to a different a whole different lifestyle a whole different way of living and i love that you get to get out of your environment you sometimes we got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable that's what's going that's going to be a real good life skill and right now i'm parked in a spot where i'm illegally parked right now like they probably parked behind me like what in the world is he doing but as long as they're not a cop i don't care I was going to get out and walk and talk, but it's so slushy everywhere and all that. But I, I decided I'm going to get out the house today and record a cool little natural raw video. Just talk to the camera and all that. Show y'all what it's looking like outside. Uh, all my young people, even all my older people, get out your city. Move. Sometimes you got to live for yourself. A lot of people like, I want to take care of my parents. I don't want to leave family members. I got a connection with this place. Man, get up and move. Get up and go somewhere change it's gonna make you a better person live for yourself and one day just be like forget it i'm gonna move to this place i'm saying my sister she up and moved to california i'm not gonna say she was living a perfect california life i mean because nobody's living a unless you filthy rich nobody's living a perfect california life but i'm glad my sister just up and moved to california at first i was like i don't do it but i'm glad she did it she got to experience california and now She's back in Indiana. She knows what it's like somewhere else. And that's even motivation to get back out the city again and move somewhere. Pursue your dreams. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe. You really don't got to comment. I don't really care for comments like that. Follow me on Instagram, all that. Watch all, my, watch all my other videos. And, man, get out your comfort zone. I'm going to make, yeah, that's what I'm going to say every single video. Be comfortable with being uncomfortable.